Welcome to Box Christmas, the world's best Christmas workshop. I have created 24 fantastic episodes all about making gifts and decorating for Christmas. If you want to see all the episodes, follow this link. And here are some promo codes to get the show for free. Now this I've been looking forward to. Now I'm going to make presents to everyone I love. Come into my art workshop and I'll show you how. <laughs> Tricked you there, didn't I? It's just a cardboard cutout. Now my dog is much cuter than this. She is irresistible. And that's why I have given her everything. Dog house, dog car, ice hockey gear, everything. Except for dog cabin. Check this. What do you think about hammer time? Cute, isn't she? Oh, cute. A dog cabin you can bring to the mountain or the seaside. Let's see what we have here. Uh, but Hammer Time is a pretty small dog, so maybe this box is big enough. We'll need a decent sized cardboard box, a cardboard sheet, a ruler, a pencil, sticky tape, paper knife, some glue, paint, brushes, a bowl, and some soft fabric. Dog cabin in three steps. Step one, glue down the flaps around the entire box. Step two, cut out the door and the windows. Make all the dog parts for the face, eyes and ears. Woohoo! And glue them on. Step three, paint and decorate the dog cabin with beautiful colors both outside and inside. Okay, let's get going. First, we glue down the flaps both at the top and at the bottom so that the box is completely sealed. And here's one that is dry and good to go. Now we can draw on the door in front of the cabin with a pencil. Make sure it's big enough for your dog to go through. A curved window on either side and a cross-hatched window at the back. Now it's time to cut out the door and the windows. Here, you'd better ask for help from an adult. Big boxes can be quite hard to handle sometimes. There, now the sunshine can come in. Next step is to draw the face. Big eyes. A cute little nose. And a happy smile. Then we draw the same facial parts on a sheet of thin cardboard. Here I've found some white cardboard, but you can also use brown cardboard and paint it in any color afterwards. Then we paint in the eyes, the nose, and a bit of pink color on the tongue. Next we cut it out with a scissors or a knife. If we lay them out like this, they become a complete dog face. Then we make the ears. Here I have two that are finished. Let me show you how I made them. First I prepare all the parts. One base sheet and two equal sides. Then we glue on the side shapes. Next we have to bend the top layer a bit so that it fits the curved sides. With the help of a ruler, I bend a little at a time till I get a curve on one side. Look, it fits perfectly. The base is a bit longer than the ear itself. So here we can make a little fold so that we can use the extra flap to glue on the ear. When the glue has dried, we have two lovely ears that can dangle a bit when our dog is moving around. I think I need to go and get some more paint. Then it's good to have friends. I'll have those. Thanks, Sophie. Okay, let's paint. Then we continue drawing in the area where the brown color shall go. Using a pencil. 
I use the Cocker Spaniel brown that looks pretty against the light cardboard brown. Now we can overpaint the face too, because here we will glue on the face parts later. The windows will get a white frame to make them extra pretty looking. After that, we paint the ears. When the paint is dry, we can glue them onto the body. I use plenty of glue and press the glue flap against the side of the dog. A bit of tape will hold it in place until it's dry. Now let's have a look at the face. Here I glue on some strips of cardboard on the back of the shape in order to bring out the face a bit and make it more three-dimensional. So when I glue on the face, it stands out somewhat. The same thing with the eyes. A bit of cardboard at the back does the trick. Check how 3D they look now. Next bit is the nose. Ah, wonderful. Then a bit of glue behind the tongue and it glides easily into the mouth under the lips. I use a brown pencil and draw on the whiskers, two on each side. Here I've cut out some curtains. They get a warm pink color. And when they are dry, we'll hang them up on the inside of the dog cabin. Yes, I have one for the cross-hatched window as well. And now we are ready for the interior decorations. And it's here we are going to use the soft fabric on the floor. Fireplace! <laughs> A mousse painting on the wall. Birch wood for the fireplace. Food tray. Well, we'll have to put in the plate first. And finally, cross country skis. I'm feeling a bit snacky. I think I'll go for a walk. Hello, Baker. I'll have those. One more. Come on, one more. <laughs> Time for Christmas wrapping. But how to wrap up an entire cabin? First, we find a mega huge box and glue down the flaps all over the box. And here is one that is dry and we can draw a lid with a ruler. One line here. And one there. And we can cut open the lid. And here I have one that is open. Open, close. Open, close. Our next step is to draw the doggy parts on the cardboard. First, we draw the ears. Then the front legs, nose, and the eyes. We ink in the lines with a marker. And we paint on the colors. And when they are dry, we can cut them out. Next, we lay them out over the box and glue them on. First, the eyes and the nose. Then the legs and the ears. Finally, we draw on the mouth and the whiskers. Have about a fantastic to and from card. Wait, I have an idea. Then we need a red piece of paper and draw a tongue with a pencil. Then I grab a color pencil and add some shadow on the middle before I cut out the whole shape. A beautiful tongue. And now we can write on the names. To someone, from me or you. You will write of course who is getting the gift and who is giving the gift. Then we use the pencil again and roll up the tongue. Now we have a nice little roll that we can glue on to the doggy packet. Here I have one in pink. It's fun to try a bit of different colors and see what looks the best. Mmm, red is good. But I think...
think the pink is especially nice. Let's stick it on. Oh, it works beautifully. <laughs> then it's time to put in the dog cabin. And that's easy with a lid like this. There, good to go. <laughs> now hammer time is the dog that's got everything. Or did I forget something? Slalom gear! No! Oh, the very first packet in our Christmas tree. I'll put it here in the corner. Soon we will have many more. If you want to see all the episodes, follow this link. And here are some promo codes to get the show for free.